Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a small update on my Dynamo. And as you can see in front of you here, I have the new upgraded and hopefully also improved Dynamo. As you can see in the title, I'm calling it a uh, Trinity uh, Core Dynamo. And the reason for that is very simple. As you can see, I have like, like four, like three squares one two and three three squares that's the trinity part all three squares are in unity together so unity nitty trinity simple as that nothing fancy using the uh, kiss approach for those that don't know means keep it simple stupid anyway um as you can see it is done um that black uh, stripe you see in there is my uh, air uh, gap it's also over there yeah I think you can see that it's a 9 millimeter air gap I have in there a um, mechanical plastic uh, wedge into the uh, iron the steel parts steel laminations to make it more sturdy so yeah, not much I can say about it. It looks pretty good. It's pretty heavy, I can tell you that. And hopefully it will work as good as it looks. So yeah, just a small update. Once I'm done with this one, I have the coils here. I'm gonna mount them later on. Then I can remove that one and put this one over there and we'll see how it goes. Give it another more few about it yeah oh yeah before I forgot the laminations also have a clear transparent coat this time on them to keep uh, the eddy currents at the minimum and hopefully that way I will have very uh, not so much cogging effect um, the reason I have here a 9mm air gap is because I played with the rotor before with all kinds of steel parts and my conclusion is a 9mm air gap should give me less cogging effect at the best possible output but that's just theory we put it to practice and we'll see in a few days time yeah I think that's about it Hope you enjoyed it and as always, thank you for watching.